Hey guys, <clears throat> welcome back to the channel. Got the mighty Gator Unleashed here with you, coming for, at you from the bluegrass state of Kentucky. It's going to be a short video today. Um, we're sitting here on June the 26th, I think it is. I won't swear to you, but it's Sunday, June the 26th or 27th or somewhere in that neighborhood. Um, been all kinds of stuff going on. It's Walmart yesterday morning. Saturday morning, I usually go on Saturday and Sunday morning to see what's going on with ammo. Usually I grab a couple of boxes or whatever. Yesterday morning, I've been documenting the prices of this ammo. Uh, now this ammo right here in London, Kentucky, Walmart is up to $9.46. Um, Tuesday, I stopped in there and got this very box. It was $8.48. <clears throat> I've documented all this over the last five months or so. It was 548 six months ago, or probably less than six months ago. And then it went up to like seven, I don't know, 770 or I don't know, somewhere in that area. Then 848, and I thought it had peaked out at 848. Now, Walmart raised it again. This low brass, cheapest stuff Walmart got now is 946 in London, Kentucky. Um, and it'll be really close everywhere. Ammo continues to go up at Walmart. Now, however, at the local gun shop, um, I saw this Saturday morning. And I didn't buy any. I just said, heck with it. <clears throat> the local gun shop Saturday morning, it was just, it was a little cheaper for a Fiocchi year. I don't know how you say that. Uh, it's the ammo that's got the clear shell you can see through into the shot stuff. I, I sort of like that ammo. Um, same price. So I, at this point, I'll just buy that over anything Walmart's got. This ammo at Walmart, really good stuff. These uh, these three inch shells, 1550 shell velocity. Man, this is some mean ammo. I mean, that right there is some really mean, really mean ammo. And I, I'll be honest, I haven't shot it. I haven't shot any of that. I've bought a few boxes of two, four, and three. When I say a few, I've probably got 10 boxes total of that three inch stuff. I've been buying it for like, it was like 1540 at Walmart. Yesterday it was uh, 1996 or maybe 1986. They had just got some in, and it was number four shot. They also had some Federal called uh, some Black Cloud, some really good looking ammo. Uh, it was three inch. Um, it was twenty five dollars. <throat> so they're not the least bit interested in selling ammo at Walmart. They've got enough twenty two ammo now. The three hundred twenty five round boxes. The lady there at the register, she told me that they'll never get rid of it all. Um, but now she don't understand how these old guys are and how people are. The first time. The first time they have another little gun grab scare, everybody will go buy them. Of course, at some point, people's going to have to get enough 22 ammo. Um, I saw a, I saw Jesse Waters the other night talking about the IRS had bought, a, I think it was 11 million rounds of ammo this year, or maybe it was $11 million worth. I can't remember. Uh, regardless, the, the IRS is buying ammo like crazy. Now, what does the IRS need ammo for? Um... What does the IRS need ammo for? They're not out enforcing laws and fighting on the streets, apprehending people, bad guys. They're the ones telling you that you ain't paid enough taxes. They're the ones telling you they want more of your money that you've got out and worked and earned and made. I just think that's very interesting. If anybody's interested in that, you can get on any internet, any cell phone, whatever you got. You can get on there and research Jesse Waters and find that story, I'm sure. Um... I can't do a video without touching on some kind of little firearm. Uh, I got up this morning, Sunday. Um, kind of felt bad yesterday. Still worked all day. Got a lot of stuff done. Got up this morning and decided I wasn't going to do a whole lot, so I cleaned up. Took me a good shower. It's time for my monthly shower. I just went ahead and got it out of the way. But I went out and I wore a, uh, I wore kind of a nice Oxford shirt and some nice pants, which is very uh, seldom. Usually I'm just an old part of Levi's and any, any old thing, t-shirt I throw on. So I didn't want to put a gun on a holster on the side. There's always something. It's just always, there's always something different. You're always in a different situation when you're looking for, uh, when you want to be armed and able to take care of yourself if something happens. So I knew I had to get something small that I could put in my pocket. So it was a no-brainer. I went with my little Ruger LCP 380. Um, this thing is a, a six-shot mag, six-shot mag, one in the chamber. So you got seven rounds, and that's going to be enough. Almost certainly, it's almost a certain thing that I'm not going to have any kind of problem 
here in my local town going out to Walmart on a Sunday morning. I always have something with me, though. Because you never know. The one morning that you don't take a take something, that's the day somebody the size of Andre the Giant decides they're going to run over you or, or three guys decide they're going to run over you. Just something bad happens, and, and there you are. Left with nothing but a good duty chop. I don't much feel like duty chopping these people. I'd just soon shoot them if they're trying to bother me and mine. But anyway, as you can see, I've got these hollow points in this. I always touch on overpenetration on my videos. If one person watches this video, I don't want to be repetitive, but if, if somebody just happens to see this one video and never watches another video of mine, and I don't talk about overpenetration, they may miss out on something. They may actually pick up something from the old Gator Unleashed. Um, I like these hollow points, and there's a whole lot of They're not totally understood. A lot of people say that something like a little 380 doesn't get enough shell velocity for these to open up. Um, I've watched several gun reviews, though, where they have. Um, and in my mind, that hollow point, it has to have less penetration than a full metal jacket. It just has to. I mean, we know that. We can tell by looking at the shape of that bullet. Um, and if you haven't watched the channel, if you're new to firearms, if you haven't given any thought, consideration whatsoever about what a bullet does when it's fired out of a gun or what it can do, um, a full metal jacket bullet can go through a person and hit someone else that's not in any way involved in trying to make your life miserable or cause you problems. Um, and that's the last thing I want, or hopefully anybody wants, is to shoot an innocent bystander. Um, so I'm big into some type of ammo that's not going to overpenetrate. Um, so in this little, even in this little Ruger LCP 380, I have some really good high quality self-defense rounds in it and they're expensive um but you know they'll last forever and it's not something that i fire often you know i won't i won't put i won't put 50 rounds a year through that little gun right there i don't think i mean every now and then i'll take it out and put five rounds through it um, anytime i get a new type of ammo i always go and make sure my gun feeds it and that that ammo that's in it i've put several rounds of that through it and feeds it just fine so uh yeah, you, I mean, you can afford in your personal protection weapon, you can afford hollow points, I'm, I'm certain. I mean, I don't want to speak for everybody. Everybody's budget's different, and I know right now budgets are tight. Though at the same time, um, here in eastern Kentucky, which is considered the uh, poorest part of the country, almost, um, at least by the numbers, here in eastern Kentucky, every Saturday and Sunday when I get out, I see... $80,000 four-wheel drive trucks pulling $30,000 trailers with four $25,000 side-by-sides on them. Uh, the gas stations are full of these things. Um, and then every evening, all the steakhouses and the uh, restaurants are full of these things. And that's that's all good. I'm not being, I'm not saying I hate to see that. I like to see that. Um, what I am saying is we seem to be under the mindset that things are bad right now. And... You know, in a, in a sense, they are. I mean, everything I buy, I have to pay more for it. This ammo I'm talking about is a prime example. This is something that I pretty much do for a hobby. Um, but at the same time, we are by no means experiencing hard times right now. By no means are the people in this country experiencing hard times. It's just not even close. Um, and the reason I mention that is we need to experience hard times. That's the only way that we're ever, nothing will educate people like hard times. I've said it many a time, and I'll continue to say it. I believe it with all my heart. Uh, these people that go off to these colleges and things, and it, they completely corrupt their minds. They turn them into anti-American, anti-Christian. Um, they, they just completely crush the most basic and simple parts of their brains and just totally turn them into mindless zombies. It ain't no wonder so many zombie shows are popular right now. Our society's the dumbest it's ever been. Um, I see people like like uh, Steve Kerr and LeBron James and intelligent people, um, intelligent people that I know that went to school for years and hold administrative jobs in big companies. That They think the Supreme Court banned abortions. They think that the Supreme Court banned abortions throughout the whole country with this ruling they had the other day. 
And, and it's just so absurd. That's not at all what happened. All they did was give the states the right to settle this matter on their own. I mean, we don't need the federal government. This is my opinion. We don't need the federal government to dictate um, our position on abortion. You know, and we certainly don't want, you know, I, I mean, I'm, I don't want to tell somebody they can't get an abortion. I think it's, I think they're murdering a, a, a life form. Um, and that's certainly something, nothing to be taken lightly. And there's circumstances, there's such, uh, all kinds of situations that apply. But at the very least, I shouldn't have to pay for it. Um, if, if some woman wants to kill their unborn child, at some point they'll have to answer for that or they'll get judged for that or, or somewhere down the line, maybe not in this life, but certainly down the line, that's going to be between them and God. Um, now, I, w I would vote against abortion rights. But that's not uh, an issue that I would take a real strong, very strong, outspoken stand on. Um, but I, I'm not for abortion rights, no. Um, I, it's amazing to me, really, that people, that it's even a thing. Um, but it is, clearly. And, man, they've got these people stirred up right now. And they don't even, they don't even know what's going on is what makes it so sad, you know. If you're passionate about something with an understanding of what's going on, I, I can I sort of like that. I can sort of respect that. I may disagree with you, but I mean I can I can live with that. But these people don't even know what's what the issue is. Um, it's just amazing how dumb well, our society is the dumbest it's ever been on the whole. Overall, this is the dumbest society the United States of America has ever been infested with, um, and it's getting worse. Uh, I saw a thing where the the Hispanics are switching to the Republican Party in massive amounts. Um, and, and I thought about that some, you know. And, and it's it's really easy to see why when you break it down to the most simple stuff. Those people that are coming over here, a lot of them are illegals um, or either have been born to illegal couples or whatever. Um, but those people are seeking a better life. There's nothing complicated about their life. They've not been to all these colleges and stuff that our kids, American kids, have gone to. Um, they've not been brainwashed and turned into mindless zombies. They are entrepreneurs. They want to work and make a living. Um, they're seeking a better life. And there's nothing complicated about that unless you went to college for 10 years. The longer they go, the worse they get. I, I've just never seen nothing like it, what, what happens to people that go to college. Um there's exceptions. I mean, and there's some jobs that you need to go to college for. But, you know, you don't need to go to college to run a floor buffer at the uh, Corbin Hospital in Corbin, Kentucky. You, you don't need no college education to go down there and flip that thing on at night and walk up and down the halls with that buffer polishing those floors. If you go down there and put an application in, that's the first thing they ask you. If you ain't got a, if you ain't got a degree in industrial maintenance, I think that's what they told me. When I got laid off in 2016, I went down there. I think it was an industrial maintenance degree. That you had to have to run that floor buffer at night. Now, guys, that's absurd. The only thing you need to run that floor buffer at night is you need to go in there with some 66-year-old man that's retired and spend about two hours with him, letting him show you how that thing works and how you how you change everything on it, and get it fired up, shut down, charge it, <clears throat> all the do's, don'ts, a few safety things. Two hours, you you can master it, and then you can master it in another two hours. That's all you are to it. Run the daggum thing, get your check every week, and go home. Enjoy your life. Crazy. Anyway, got way out of track here, boys. But that's all right, though. Uh, thinking about starting another channel with my daughter. If I do, I'll link it on here. We may do it. We may do a channel on current events. Um, she's kind of eager and ambitious about some of this stuff, um, and she likes the idea of having a channel. So we'll see how that works out. But uh, guys, I hope you got something out of this. I just don't know what to tell you it's about ammo. I kind of think it's going to go up more, uh, but then on the other hand, I kind of think it's reached its breaking point. If it gets any higher at all, it's definitely going to reach the break breaking point, though. I mean, $10 for a box of these, I mean, there's only 25 rounds there. Uh, you're looking at, uh, what is that, 35, 38 cents a round, something like that. 
That's kind of getting a little expensive. I mean, it's good ammo, though. But, man, just a short while ago, it was 548. There's so much difference. I mean, you're talking about a 90% increase there. 90% inflation. They sell TV, it's like 11%. Much more than that. I've never had one of these not shoot. Good stuff. Great for home defense. Great for a lot of stuff. Good stuff. But anyway, you guys enjoy your Sunday evening. It's already going on three. I've been going wide open all day. Um, hope everybody has a good rest of the wraps of the weekend up good. Hope everybody has a safe and prosperous week coming up. If you got anything out of this, guys, please like, share, subscribe. One of these days, I'm going to go to Hollywood. I'm going to have a studio built out there right in downtown Hollywood. This old Eastern Kentucky conservative. I'd say I'd go over real good out there. They think I was the, the media has convinced people. The media has them people convinced that somebody like me is an absolute monster who is simply for nothing more than uh, people being a little bit, having a little bit of personal responsibility and, and having a little bit of ambitious uh, ambition and get up about them making a living. But I don't know. It all, it all works itself out. You guys have a good day.